What's up everyone? It's the one and only Fernando Caro. This video is sponsored by my real estate team, Caro Real Estate for all your real estate services. Now, I know I'm working from home. This is my environment right now, but hey, my content isn't for the glitz and the glamours and the editing. This is raw, real, and truth. But on this video, I want to share a little bit about the qualifying process for a home. You know, during this global pandemic, many people have been reaching out to me asking, Fernando, are property values going up? Are they going down? Is this the time to purchase? Is this the time to sell? Now, in this specific video, I'm going to share a few tips that a first time home buyer or even an experienced buyer should know when it comes to purchasing real estate. And this comes from the reference of what banks are going to be looking at when seeing if you qualify for a home loan and how they use their measuring stick to know if you're a qualified candidate for a home loan. So let's begin. Number one, you must begin to ask yourself first and foremost, and I like to ask all my clients this is how motivated are you into beginning the process of buying real estate or beginning the process of meeting with a realtor like myself or my team members and starting forward and initiating that journey? Because first and foremost, before anything, you have to look at yourself and understand, is this what I truly want to do? And am I truly ready to take the next step? So I need to ask myself, one, am I ready for this process? And if the answer is yes, let's go to number two. Number two, am I willing to do whatever it takes to make sure that I get into a home to secure my future, to secure my family, to secure the dream of owning an asset. If that is a yes, then we go to step number three. First, you're ready. Number two, you're willing. And number three, are you able, are you capable of buying? You see many people reach out and they meet the threshold. They're motivated, they're inspired, they wanna buy. Number two, they're willing. They're willing to do everything. They're like, Fernando, what do I need to bring you? What documents do you need? How can we begin to start this process and expedite, right? Those two are very important. Now, number three, are you able to buy? This is what the banks will begin to use to see if you qualify for a home loan, right? So before you go out and start looking for properties and get excited and just to find out that you weren't able or not qualified to purchase, let me share some light to you guys right now. First, you wanna see where your FICO score is. Get a measuring stick. Where is my credit score? A few free outlets or free, free sources to check before even running your credit. You can use an app called Credit Karma. Credit Karma will give you a generalized basis of where your FICO score is. Now, banks, we have three credit scores as an individual entity. I, Fernando Caro, have three credit scores, right? My Experian, my Equifax, and I forgot the other one, right? But it doesn't matter. Uh, and so they're gonna look at the three scores. The one that the bank is gonna take is the median score. So let's say you have a 700 on your Experian, let's say your Equifax is 680, and then let's say the other one is 650. They're gonna take your 680 credit score as your FICO, right? But many people are like, whoa, I have a 700 over here. Well, banks want to take the median score first. And right now with the current state of the market, we're in a global pandemic. Banks have tightened up their guidelines. So there are many lenders out in the marketplace that will loan out money to people with 580, 600, 620, 640. Now, I like to give my clients a, a basis of what should they aim for. And I always suggest at least have a FICO score of 640. 640 will give you a good position to begin to explore the market and open up new doors, right? So we wanna get our FICO score, our median FICO score to 640 minimum, right? Let's begin there. Now, outside of FICOs, how long have you been working? Do you have at least two years of work history, consistent work history, uh, it could be at the same job or it could be at a different job. Maybe you, you transferred jobs and you went right into it, right? You didn't skip a beat. You didn't take two months off. You continued working. Does that qualify? Absolutely. As long as you have two years of consistent work history, the banks will use that to qualify your income. Now, 
Once you begin to look at your income, they also look at your debt. It's called DTI, debt to income ratios. The debt to income ratios is what's gonna set you up to see how much you qualify for, if you qualify for any amount. So it's gonna fall down to your DTIs, your debt to income. How much debt do you uh, pay off per month? So for example, let's say you have three credit cards and your total amount of debt in these three credit cards is $6,000. However, every month you pay $100 for each card, the minimum payment, right? That's $300 of monthly debt. Let's say on the flip side, your income, you make $5,000 a month, right? And your only debt is this $300 that you pay a month and your income every month is $5,000. Well, your DTIs are looking solid. I can't give you the ratios. That's for a lender to give you. However, this can give you a basis. Okay, how much money do I make a month and how much am I giving out? How much am I paying off in car debt, in student loan debt, in credit card debt, in things that will lessen my DTIs? We want to have DTIs that qualify us, but that's for a conversation with the lender. Now, the third thing that the banks will also look at is, did you report your taxes? This is a big one. Many people say, hey, Fernando, you know, I made 60,000 last year in my 2018 taxes. Now, there's gonna be two ways of looking at this. Are you self-employed or are you uh, a W-2 worker, right? If you're 1099, you do your own taxes. How much profit and loss did you report? Let's say you made 60,000, but you reported that 55 was uh, expenses and you only made $5,000. Well, you won't qualify for a home because you only made $5,000. But if you're a W-2 worker and let's say you made $80,000, you paid your taxes uh, throughout your the year and this is how much you qualify for, that leaves you at a solid uh, position when it comes to qualifying for a loan. So two years, of work history, two years of taxes is what you'll need. And this video should give you a underlying basis, at least the basics of understanding what to look for and how to qualify for a home loan. And so if you have any more questions, you're like, Fernando, I have a 640 credit score. I've been working for two years. I've made 60, 80, 100, $200,000. Uh, my income has gone up. My debt is very low and I'm a qualified candidate, I want to buy a home, I'm ready, I'm inspired, I want to look at the housing market, see how we can begin to now navigate and find a property that is suitable for my family, is suitable for my future, is something that I want to own and put money into, so that way in the future, if I decide to sell it or decide to keep it, give it to my children, use this as a cash cow to put money in and not pay no more rent, pay someone else's mortgage off. I want to pay my mortgage off or I want to use this house as an asset to put money in and use money out. All right, guys, that's it for this video. If you have any questions in regards to the real estate market, market trends going on right now, is this the time to buy? Right now, we're experiencing historic low interest rates below 3%. And there are a lot of people right now out qualifying for home loans, making the process very, very real. and starting your journey of home ownership. So hope you guys liked this video. Hope this video was informative. If you have any more questions, you can send me a message down below. Like it, give it a thumbs up, subscribe, and we'll continue on trotting along, sharing more real estate information. Uh, I got some more things coming for you guys, so stay tuned. This is Fernando Caro with Caro Real Estate. Send me a message if you guys have any questions. I'll see you on the next one. Let's go.